We're ready guys, good morning, and welcome to your Hump Wednesday workout. Yes, it is the middle of the week, and we are here for circuits. Yes, I know this is backwards to you, but if you saw my previous post uh, on the CrisFit page, I obviously took a photo of this so you had an idea of what exercises you were gonna be doing. So hopefully you've got a rough idea of what's gonna be happening today. Um, like I briefly said, before we start the, uh, the class live, um, step, if you've got a step, please have it ready, um, face it vertical. If you don't have a step, do not worry, your first exercise is gonna be lateral sprints. So if you, you guys haven't got a step, you can just sprint rapidly on the spot. Also, when we do the dumbbell lunges on a step, you can just do them on the floor. So it's not essential that you have a step until you get left. It's not essential that you have a step, okay? Right, stop that shouting. So what we're gonna do, before we do the warm up, I'm just gonna go through the exercises to get you uh, familiarize yourself with what we're gonna do. Um, again, as always, try and work to the best of your ability. If there's something you physically cannot do, improvise. I know you guys have been really good at improvising these last few days with uh, obviously injuries and so forth. So if there's something simply you just cannot do, then obviously don't do it. If you've got the luxury of having different weights, so you obviously you've got lighter weights and heavier weights, then when it starts to get hard, then go down to the lower weight. If you've only got one set of dumbbells or ankle weights or whatever you can use, then just rep out, but really concentrate on the form. The idea is to do every exercise to the timer, hence why the timer's out, 45 seconds work. Then I think we get to 15 seconds. Yeah, no, we get 20 seconds rest in between each exercise. So we've got 15 exercises working our way down the list. Then we uh, have a minute rest, and then we do 35 seconds work and then 10 seconds rest in round two. So there's only two rounds. Familiarize yourself with the exercises in round one, and then we go through all of them again in round two, okay? In round two, it probably will get a little bit tougher because obviously you're a little bit more fatigued, so you probably will have to reduce the weights if you have the luxury of doing so. If not, again, just rep out. I know I'm doing a lateral raise, but that is one of the exercises. Um, so again, just do what you can do, okay? So again, I'm not gonna show you this board. Uh, this way because that is pretty useless to show you that because it's back to front for you guys, isn't it? Um, so the exercise I'm going to show you, I'm going to put this over here, the ones that you probably want to practice. Now, practice them without weights because we haven't warmed up yet. So when we do the warm up, then we're going to go straight in. So your first one's lateral sprints. As I've already explained, have the step on a higher setting. Now, if you're not used to having it on a higher setting, like myself, please take your time, okay? So when you're taking those feet on and off the step, be careful. If you haven't got a step or you're not confident with a higher setting, just do a flat out sprint. Then you're into chest flies on floor. So, everybody, you don't have to obviously do this, but right now, so everybody's gonna lay on the floor. Now, if you've got your dumbbells or your kettlebells, whatever weight you've got, on a slight bend in the elbow, okay, your head's gonna be uh, on the floor. Your chest needs to be up, so squeeze those shoulder blades together on the floor. So as soon as you squeeze those shoulder blades together, your chest naturally comes up. I've got my feet, flat on the floor so they can support. Slight bend in the elbows, and then what you wanna do is when you do a fly with your chest, your elbows touch the floor, and then you bring the weights back up. Notice that I keep a bend in my elbow. Now when you bring it up, imagine you're trying to, trying to hug a really big cuddly bear or a tree, so when you squeeze as hard as you can, you'll feel that activation in your chest. So again, my shoulder blades are back, my chest is up, slight bend in my elbows, I make sure my elbows touch the floor, and then I come up, keeping the elbows slightly bent, and then I'm back down, and I'm back up. But really, don't rush it. Don't wanna see any people try to take off and fly, okay? When you get to the top, squeeze it, back down, back up, okay? So that, the reason we do it on the floor is so you don't overextend, okay, and hurt your shoulder or, or your rotator cuff in your shoulder. So you should be able to do 45 seconds of that quite comfortably. I know a lot of you don't like training chest, but it's a fundamental part of a whole body workout. Into your third exercise. I wanna get my lightest weights, just to show you this one. Really, really small weights. The Arnold Press. Now, your palms are gonna be facing towards me, away from you, okay, so towards me. Um, from there, you then rotate your arms out, so the palms facing the other way, all the way up to the ceiling. So then back down, and then rotate them in. So rotate them in, so almost like you're looking at your palms, then your palms go outwards, and then you go up, okay? So it's down and in. So it's really important that your, your, 
your dumbbells start in that position, or if you haven't got your dumbbells, use what you can. So you're looking at your wrists, okay? Then you go outwards, so your elbows go out, and then you're above your head. So then you get into a position where you can go up and down. That's your Arnold press. Elbow to hand plank, pretty straightforward. I'll go into that as and when. Goblet squat, if you've got a heavy weight. So imagine I've got a 10K or I don't know, if you've got a load of books or milk cartons. Now your goblet squat, I want your feet just slightly past, well, past shoulder width. Okay, knees pointed out slightly. And you're gonna go down with your weight, holding it in both hands, or you can hold it like that. It's completely up to you. So if you've got the luxury of holding a heavy weight, so you can either from the top and squat down, or you can grab hold of it, both hands and squat. Now it's really important that when you squat, your head is up, your chest is up, your weight can be close to your chest, or it can be down on the floor. I tend to find having it close to the chest is better. If you prefer to have it closer to the floor, up to you, okay? But make sure you've got some sort of resistance when you do the goblet squat. Into number six, dumbbell lunges on step. So imagine, let's give me another one. So, dumbbell lunges on step. Again, this is the reason we have the step nice and high. Get nice, alternate between the legs. Have your weights either side, have your head up, have your chest up, okay? Nice, good, controlled lunges. From there into number seven, which is the lateral frontal raise. Again, if you've got heavier weights, you can do this. Lateral, frontal. Now again, I'll show you the sideways on. I don't want people having a little bit of a dance and a swing. It's not a hip flexor movement, okay? Keep your core tight, squeeze your bum. Okay, so slow, controlled movement outwards. Slow, controlled movement forwards. This works the shoulders, okay? So I don't want to see you guys having a dance and going, yeah, come on not working, you've got to be slow and controlled. If you find that the weights you've got are too heavy, okay, just drop them and just use your arms. You'll be surprised. Dumbbell snatch, this is where you get one weight. Again, legs, shoulder width apart this time. You come down to your foot, so you start in that position, make sure your head and chest is up, and you come across, bang, straight down, straight up. But obviously you have a weight in each hand, so you're gonna do one at each side. So you start down there, down, and up, cross over. Down, touch your toe, into a press, up. Down, touch your toe, and repeat, okay? So you've got your weights in your hand for that one. Hammer curls, so hammer curls, you've got to make sure your elbows are stuck close to the side of your, of your uh, waist of your side, all the way up, all the way down. Your palms are facing towards each other, okay? So it's like you're hammering something. So your palms are up, obviously facing each other. I don't want them up like that. Don't want them down, facing each other, okay? Then you've got your tricep kit back. This is the one we need to bend over. Now, if you can hold on to something, so support your weight on a chair or a sofa, whatever, doesn't matter if not, I always put my hand on my knee. Okay, you bend over, your, your bum sticks back, your back is straight, focus on my arm, okay? My elbow, again, does not move forward or back. It stays to my side and you squeeze. So you go backwards, okay? You do 90 degree angle, and then you kick that arm back. So if you notice, look where my arm ends up. It goes almost past my bum. My hand goes past my bum, look. Squeeze, but my elbow, if you look at my elbow, has not moved. So what you're looking at is a full straight arm to really focus on the muscles in the back of your arm. So the underneath there, they're your triceps. So you really squeeze when you're bent over for that kick back for your triceps. Dumbbell toe touches, if you've got light weights, Alternate side to side, we're gonna be laying down for that one. Jumping squats into pulses. You're gonna do five jumping squats. One, two, three, four, five. And then five pulses. One, two, three, four, five. And we just keep going. That's great for your legs, that one. Rear delt flies. Are you still with me, guys? You haven't fallen asleep just yet? Rear delt flies. Again, we've done these last week. Stick your bum back. I want your back straight. I want your chest predominantly out. So again, squeeze those shoulder blades. And then rear delt flies, arms out arms in, okay, you do both. So it looks like this. I'm nice and low, but my back is upright, okay? So I'm not bending, I'm not arching my back like this. I'm making sure that I've sucked in my gut, my chest is down, my shoulder blades are back, my hips are back, I've got a slight bend in my knee. Okay, it's really important that you don't roll your back because that way your shoulders are coming to play, we don't want that. Kneel to squat. I know Amanda who's watching, she loves this one. So kneel to squat. Okay, you're gonna be on your knees, and then you're gonna come up, and you're gonna stay low in a squat, and then you're gonna repeat the other side, okay? So you stay nice and low 
kneel to squat. And then you finish off number 15, plank rotations. We're in a plank, we rotate to the ceiling, head follows the arm to the ceiling, and then we're back, so side to side. Hope I haven't bored you guys too much. I wanted to go through all the techniques in a lot of them, so in that 20 seconds, we can get our weights ready, get ready for the next exercise, and we can get on with it. Right, okay, let's do this. Set our watches, and we're ready. Right, let's turn this music back up, and we'll do a warm up. Let's go, right, so warm up time. Wrist rolls first, guys. Welcome. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Right, so from there, let's have the arms out in front. Let's lean forward. Up the arms behind, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Great stuff. From there, let's do those arm circles. So let's really loosen up those arms and shoulders. Good, bring it back the other way. Now, while we're in this position, we're going to do some shoulder rolls now because we're going to do some shoulder exercises. So, again, I want you to really roll those shoulders forward. Really roll them. Come on. Almost like you're trying to punch the floor. Come on, and then go backwards. So exactly the same, but we're going backwards. Good stuff. Right, from there, guys, let's just go into a squat. So a nice deep squat. Okay, let's just get the blood flow to the legs. God, my, my legs hurt from yesterday. Oh, how do you guys feel? You feel fresh? <laughs> okay, in three seconds, we're gonna jump. Two, one, let's do some jumping squats. Now, if you can't jump, just go to tiptoes. Again, we're just slowly getting the heart rate up. Keep this going, come on. In three, two, one. Now we're into the lunges. So, nice, deep lunges. Again, we've got lunges in the workout, so it's important that we warm up what we're gonna be doing. Great stuff, let's go. Keep this going. Right, now we're gonna add a rotation. So keep lunging, but rotate this time. Good, and the same other side. Great stuff. Right, we're still going to rotate, but this time we're going above our head. So next to here we go. So lunge in, keep the lunging going. Lunge. When you lunge forward, hands go up. Right above your head. Right, three more. Two. Good. One more. Fantastic. Right, let's get those legs nice and wide. Um, don't toe touch it, so slight bend in the knee. Rotate through the shoulders. Come on. Keep it going. Well, warm up the shoulders. Great stuff. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Right down for the side lunge. Awesome. Great stuff. Sweet sides. Fantastic. Right, let's do these um, hamstrings. So, slight bend in your knee and go down as far as you can. Now, if you keep your legs straight, fantastic. If you're really flexible, I want to feel this stretch down my hamstring. Come up nice and slowly, and repeat again, all the way down. Right, let's activate our chest now, so come up slowly. Everybody down on the floor, we're gonna do 10 press-ups. Whether you do it on your knees, or you do a full one, let's get these 10 out. Are you ready? Three. Two, one, let's go. Come on. Warm the chest up. Keep going, guys. If you haven't done your 10, get there when you can get there. When you're done, come up, guys, into your hip rotations. Really open up your groin and your hips. Three outwards, three inwards. Good, and repeat the other side. Okay, bring it back in. This workout is a 26 minute workout, okay? So it's a really good circuit to do. Right, on tiptoes. And back. Let's go to heels. Good, right, stand in one position and we're gonna rock on our tiptoes, then our heels, forward and back. Great stuff. Your ankle rolls, nothing too fancy. Right, first exercise is the lateral sprint. So if you haven't got a step, you're gonna go flat out and sprint, okay? Listen out for the timer. They might bring it closer to you guys so you can see it better. 
There you go, right, are you ready? So lateral sprints, you know how to do these if you've done hit step. In three, two, one, let's go, lateral sprints. Both feet off, both feet off, come on. We're gonna warm up, 45 seconds of these. We're in it now, let's do it, come on. Good stuff guys, come on. If you don't got a step, you should be sprinting. Let's get those feet up, come on. Steps a lot higher. Come on guys. Let's get that first exercise done. Really gets the blood pumping. 45 is a long time. Come on. Yes, well done guys, awesome, right. Get yourself on the floor. We're doing chest flies on floor. Choose the weight, I'm going for the eights. So, like I said, right, you're gonna hug a tree, shoulder blades back, feet on the floor, chest up. Get those shoulder blades together, slight bend in your elbows. Let's go, all the way down. Squeeze at the top, slow and controlled reps, guys. It's not a race now. Squeeze at the top, squeeze. Come on. Squeeze, remember, slight bend in the elbows, make sure they touch the floor. Squeeze at the top. Really breathe, focus. Come on, all the way down. Squeeze it as hard as you can at the top, guys. It's gonna to be tough. You're not done chest before. Come on, and all the way up. Back down, back up. If you've got lighter weights, you can go a bit quicker, but really squeeze at the top. You wanna to feel that chest. That's one, squeeze, yes. Right, now we're into the Arnold press. So, let's get the flies. So remember, your palms are facing you, then your arms go out, then above your head. If you're unsure, just follow what I do, mirror me. Are we ready? Right, facing that way. Then we go out wide, push it above your head. It's really important, that guys, that you keep your core tight. So hands up, okay come closer, so palms facing you, then away from you, up, okay? So really bring it in, out, up. When you rotate your, your wrist into your chest, again, you're still activating your chest again. Squeeze, out, up, come on, squeeze. Let's do this, come on, keep going. Do great, guys, come on. Keep this going, come on. Keep that core tight, so sideways looks like this. No swinging, we're slow, and we're controlling the reps. Awesome, right. Now we're into elbow to hand plank. So pull your weights down, and you're into elbow, hand plank, and you switch sides every time. So starting your elbows in a plank position. I'll do it sideways, to show you guys. So elbow to hand plank, you ready? So elbow, hand, switch sides. You must stay in a plank. You've got to keep that core tight. Come on. Again, no exercises are done at speed. Do it in your own time, in your own pace. The slower you go with some of these exercises, the more mind-muscle connection, the more your muscles are under tension, you get more of a muscle breakdown. Come on. It's not always a race. Come on. Oh, this is tough. Oh. Oh, come on, stick with it. Come on. Oh, wow, we. Oh, I felt that. That was tough. Okay, if you've got a heavier weight, now's the time to pick it up. If not, do not worry. My goblet squat. Your legs are just past shoulder width. Feet pointed outwards, knees outwards. Nice, deep squat. I'm going to hold like that so it goes to the floor. Let's go, so all the way down, then back up. So knees out wide, head and chest up. If you want a deeper squat, hold it. Good, hold it like that, I think. So really good, keep it close to your chest. Keep your knees out wide. I want you to sit in, so go past that 90 degrees in the squat. Look how low I'm going. The reason I'm going lower is because I get more glute and hamstring activation. Nice and low, come on. Pause at the bottom, don't rush. So go down, down, hold it. 
come back up. Doesn't matter what weights you've got, make sure you do a nice, deep, controlled squat. Your knees are slightly outwards. Oh, wow, that was tough. Okay, back to the step. Got to pick up the fives again. We're doing dumbbell lunges on the step. Alternating. Keep doing a step forward a bit. Right, so alternating. Each leg on the step with your weights in your hand. So big, deep lunges. Change legs every time you do a lunge. Nice and deep, come on. If you haven't got a step, you can just do these on the floor. But it makes it harder if you've got to raise your leg up. Come on. Focus on your lunges. Heads up, guys. Chest up. You should all be looking forward. Get that chest up, come on. Keep that core tight. Nice controlled lunges, good. Guys, you're racing this, well done, keep it going. Come on, nice controlled deep lunges. Plant that foot. Go nice and deep. Come on, last one. Get it in. Oh, well done. Wow, wow, right, lateral, frontal raises. So remember what I showed you in the warm up, lateral raise, frontal raise. No swinging, I don't want anybody swinging. Keep your core tight. So stand tall, shoulders back. We go laterally first. So lateral, slow. Frontal, hold it, and down. If you've got lighter weights, speed it up slightly, but maintain your form. So sideways, looks like this, I'm not swinging. You noticed? My body is staying very rigid and tight. Again, slow and controlled. Get those arms out. Fully lock out your elbows. If it gets too much, put the weight down and just use your arms. Only if it's too much, guys. Come on. Slow and controlled. Both arms up at the same time. I feel this in my shoulders. Come on. Oh, well done guys, that was great control, awesome. Right, from there, we're into the dumbbell snatch. So this way you need a weight in each hand. I tend to put the other one just on the top of my hips, so like on my waist. So you go down, head up, chest up, and then press. So opposite hand to foot, down, press, and switch up, switch sides. Right, so let's go. Bang. Do three on one side. Bang. Three on one, then we switch. Right, that's three, so switch it over now. Come on. Head and chest up. Head up, chest up, that's three. Come on, switch it over again. However you do your three, do three on each. Or you switch. Come on, this is tough now. Head and chest up. And switch, make sure that weight stays in your hips. The one you're not using, that is. Come on, down. Switch, three again, come on. Keep going to the timer. That's one. Oh, that was tough. Right, into your hammer curls. So, a little longer weight for this. Remember, your palms are facing each other, your elbows are tucked into your side. So, all the way up, all the way down. Do not let your elbows move. Core tight. Let's go, up and down. Up. Down, all the way, remember, no swinging. Look, staying nice and controlled. I've lowered the weights. It's not about what you can lift, it's about doing it controlled and properly. Oh, form is key for these exercises, okay? If you're only lifting twos, doesn't matter. If you're only lifting ones, doesn't matter, okay? Just as long as your elbows are squeezed, tucked into your side, it's a hinge, like a door, Door only opens and closes. The hinges of the door do not move. Okay, only go forward and back. Come on. Oh. Oh. Well done, guys. Right. Now, tricep kickbacks. So if you've got a chair, you can lean on to lean forward. Okay, remember, shoulder blades back. I tend to put my hand on my knee. Elbow stays to the side and pinch. You're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. Are you ready? Well, 25, are you ready? Right, squeeze. So half on one side, and then half on the other. 
Let's see my timer. Keep it going, come on. Keep going, I'll give you the timer. Right, switch. So switch sides, let's go. So elbow, side, keep close to your side. And you kick it back, squeeze. So you want a full lock on the elbow. Really feel that in the back of your arm. Core tight. Come on. My elbow's not moved. Squeeze. Last one. Oh, that was great. Oh, I felt that. Right, guys. You got a lighter weight, time to pick it up. We're now doing dumbbell toe touches. So, you're on the floor. Come forward. So, hands to opposite foot. So, you go bang. And then bang. Okay? Are you ready? So, left hand to right foot. Then switch. So opposite toe touches, left to right. If you've got your weights in your hand, use them, come on. Get your shoulders off the mat, come on. Again, it's not a race. So if you've got the room, put the weights behind your head. Then bring them up. Oh, come up with your shoulders, not your neck. Don't bring your neck up first. Shoulders come off the mat. You all come up together, come on. Squeeze. And again. You're doing great, guys, come on. Last one. Oh, wow, right. No weights required for this next one. You're gonna be doing five jumping squats. If you can't jump, go to tiptoes, and then five pulses. Right. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Right, you ready? So five jumping squats into five pulse squats. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Right, pulse. One, two, three, four, five. And again, back to jumping. One, two, three. Be true to yourself with this. Four, five. One, ah, two, three, four, five. Come on, and again. One, ah, two. It's burning. Three, four, five. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five. Come on, keep jumping and pulsing. Do it your own speed. As long as you get the five in. Come on. Five. Do not stop. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Right. Oh. Into those rear delt flies. So pick up your weight. It's really important, guys. Your bum goes back. Your chest is forward. Retract those shoulder blades, both arms out. We're doing the back now. Don't arch your back, get your shoulders back, chest up, look forward if you need to. Slow and controlled. So bum goes back, slight bend in your knee, I'll show you sideways, look. My back is not arched, look. Squeeze. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Oh, come on. Let's go. Ah, come on. Don't go too heavy on my weight. We're gonna lower it. Keep going low, come on. Low to four, come on. Ah. Keep pushing, guys, you're doing great, come on. Sideways. Ah. Keep that back up right. Slight bend, come on, you bend over, do the back. Oh, oh that was hard. Ah. Okay, now we're into kneel to squat. So, if you've got your mat, use it. We're on the knees, and then we're up to a squat, and then we'll repeat the other side. Oh my god, I'm sweating now. Right, kneel to squat. That's all you're doing, guys. You're changing your knee. Lead up with another one. So if you go start with your left, then finish with your right, and so on. But you don't stand up, you stay in a squat. Oh, alternate your legs, come on. Oh man, this is tough. Ah. Come on. Try and keep your head up, keep your chest up, keep looking at me. Stay low, come on. Oh, this is tough. Back down. Come on, let's go. Ah. Oh. That was horrible, right. Your final exercise, number 15. 
You're in a plank position, guys, on your hands. And then you take one hand up to the ceiling and your head follows. You open your body up and then you switch sides. Now, if you can't do it on your hands, do exactly the same plank position. Head, arms to the ceiling. We rotate, plank rotation. Rotate slow. You must have your weight forward. Get that bum down, get your weight forward. Come on. Final exercise, let me get a minute rest. Let's go. Come on. Open it up. Really open up your body. Same with the side. Come on. Let's go. Head follows your arms to the ceiling. Open your body up. Really open it. Come on, keep going. It's on 45. Oh, guys, well done. Right, we have one minute. One minute to rest, and then we do it all again. Oh my days. Right, we're on. Time is on, I'll do it now. Let's put it on, shall I? Right, we'll do a minute from now. Just set my watch. Whew. How'd you find that, guys? That was round one. So now, God, I'm blowing heavy. Now, round one's done. You know all the exercises. We've got to do it exactly the same in round two. This time it's 35 seconds work and only 10 seconds rest. Mm. Right, we've got 30 seconds to go. So get yourself familiarized with the exercises. The first one is gonna be lateral sprints. So, what did 30 seconds work? I thought it was 35, I've depressed the wrong one, hang on a minute. It's 35 work, you see, man. Hang on. Gives me time to sort that out, doesn't it? Right, that's better. That's better. Right. Three seconds, two, one, and we're off. If I can press the right button, I can't see. Ah, right, into your lateral sprints. Let's go. Come on, exactly the same. 35 work. So we're doing 10 seconds less of exercise, but we've also got 10 seconds less in the rest. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so 15 exercises that we've done. Let's give it everything this time. Really push yourself. If you've got heavier weights, use them until you can't do the exercise anymore. Oh, come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, well done, right. On the floor for your chest flies. Oh, little weight, let me use them, we use tens. So, remember, chest up, shoulder blades back, elbows touch the floor. Remember, you're squeezing that bear. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze, come on. Squeeze. Let's go. Keep pushing, guys. Do great. Elbows bent. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Squeeze. Last one if you get it in. Oh, right, from there. Get into your Arnold presses. Oh, so, weights that way, that way, and up. Let's go for eight. Come on. Push myself now. So, copy me if you're unsure. Did these in round one. Come on. Out, in, up. So rotate your wrists towards you, away from you, up. Core tight. Keep your core stable. Elbow to hand plank is coming up next. Come on. Let's go, keep pushing. Elbow to hand plank, get yourself in plank position. So, elbow first. Let's go, elbow to hand, rotate. Keeping that straight line, come on. Alternate between the two. Keep pushing, let's go. Weight forward. 
It's really important you keep in that bike. Come on. Hold on, guys. Right, into your goblet squat. So remember, legs out wide. Knees out wide, feet out wide. Close to your chest, I think. Let's go. So all the way down, hold it. Back up. Your next one is going to be lunges on your step. Just to give yourself time to think about that one. Come on, knees out wide. Let's go. Stay deep in that squat. I want you to look forward. Come on, look up. Look forward. Oh, this is tough now. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. Come on. Nearly there. Deep. Last one. Yes, right. Into your dumbbell lunges. On your step. Get yourself ready. Right, here we go. Lunges. Alternate the legs. Head and chest stay up. Keep looking forward, guys. I want a deep lunge. If you haven't got any weight for this, it doesn't matter. Just do some quality deep lunges. You must make sure you're looking forward. Do not look to the floor. Do not look at your shoes. Oh. And again, come on. Great stuff, guys. Keep this going. You're doing amazing. Push through. Last one. Oh. Okay, we're now into lateral frontal raises. I'm going light. I'm going for the fours. So remember, core tight, arms out wide, lateral, frontal. We're ex into exercise number seven. Your next one is gonna be your dumbbell snatch, where you do three on one side, and three on the other. Come on. Let's go. Concentrate on yourself, breathing. Focus on every single rep. Make it as good as the last one. Come on. Arms out. Out forward. Arms out, that's one. Great stuff. Right, pick up the heavier weights if you've got them. We're into that dumbbell snatch. So remember, one dumbbell's tucked into your hips, other one to the floor. Three on one side, let's go. One. Head up, chest up, two. Always look forward, even when you go to the floor. Three. Look, I'm always looking at you guys when I'm touching the floor. Don't hurt your lower back, come on. That's three, you're right, change it over again. Down. Come on, snatch it up, bang. You can do this with a kettlebell if you've got it. Come on, all the way up. Push. Come on. Come on, last one. Oh. Wow, we, wow, we. Right, hammer curls. So keep those arms locked in to the side. Remember, palms facing towards you. Or towards each other, sorry. No swinging. So sideways, it's like this. Come on. Keep your head up, chest up. Remember, those arms are not moving. Sorry, your elbows are not moving. Come on. Oh, man. Tough now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Slow on the way down, guys. Do not rush these. Squeeze at the top of the movement. Squeeze on the way down. Oh. Right, tricep kickbacks. So remember, one hand on your knee or out in front, back straight, elbow tucked in, and squeeze. 20 seconds, no, 15 seconds each. We'll do 15 seconds each. Ready? Come on. Right, get ready to change. Two, one, and do 20 seconds on the other side. Let's go. Come on. Same again. Elbow tucked in. Squeeze it at the back. So fully extend it, lock it out of the back. That's the important. I want you to feel that in your triceps. Hold it there. Hold your arm out straight behind. Come on. Get it fully extended. Oh, my days. Oh, right, what are we into now? Dumbbell toe touches. So plank position. Not too much weight here. On the floor. So hands opposite foot. Oh, come on. 
Really focus, get those shoulder blades off the floor. Come on, reach up to your toe. Push forward, try and reach that toe, come on. Come on, boys, let's do this. Come on. Last one. Oh, okay, we're now into those jumping squats into pulses. So five jumping squats, five pulses. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Five jumping squats. One, two, three, four, five. Five pulses. One, two, three, four. Ah, five. Come on. Make it count, guys. Don't cheat on these. Five. Deep in the squat when you pulse. Three, four, five. Ah. Come on. Don't sacrifice the pulsing. Come on, you can do better than that. Get deep and pulse. Three, four, five. Ah. One, two, ah. three. Come on. Four, five. Oh my God, my legs are gone. That's good. Uh. Ah. Right, pick up your weight for your rear delt flies. It's really important. Remember, stick your bum back, back straight. Arms out. Are you ready? Come on. Sideways, this like this, guys. Pinch. Uh, come on. Let's go. Stay low. Come on. Got two exercises left after this, and we're done. Bang, come on. Uh, Come on, push. We need there. Five more seconds. Ah. Ah. Oh, I couldn't move anymore. Right. Kneel to squat. Are you ready? On your knees. I'll move this back. Right. Here we go. Kneel to squat. Change over every time, remember, guys. Come on. Alternate between the two legs. You must stay in a squat. Oh, we're nearly there. Come on, guys. Really dig deep. We're nearly there. Come on. Oh, the legs are dead. Oh. Right, we'll finish off with that plank rotation. Oh. So, plank position. Rotate to the ceiling. Let's do this. Let's go, all the way up. Control it, guys. Rotate, open up your body. Fully rotate to the ceiling. Come on. Fantastic, come on. Keep that weight forward. Stay in a plank. tough today. Oh, got weights everywhere, got sweat everywhere. <sighs> Guys, oh, how'd you find that? Were you true to yourself? Did you really feel you've done? I can feel it sit in my arms. Look at my tricep. That's crazy. Got a proper tricep pump going on each arm. That's insane. All down there. That's mental, that is absolutely mental. Right. Guys, how was that? Tough, yeah? This makes it a lot harder when you include weight. Oh, God, I'm sweating. Guys, I want to say a massive well done to all of you today for doing that live with me. Brilliant. If you do not catch up, you guys rock as well because you're trying to fit it in around work and family life. So, hats off to you guys as well for doing it, whether you're doing it at six in the morning or 10 o'clock at night. Every single one of you do these workouts. Honestly, you guys are incredible, well done. Yeah. 
absolutely outstanding. Oh, so, round of applause everybody. High fives, fist pumps. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well done, well done guys. You guys rock, excellent. Oh my days, right. If you're still alive, let's do a cool down. Don't anybody go anywhere. I can see the numbers at the top who are watching. So everybody needs to do a cool down more so now because we've done weights, okay? So we're gonna start with the legs as we always do. Let's do a quad stretch first. So heel up to your bum. Let's keep that in. Draw your um, core in, get your hips forward. Great stuff, right, let's switch sides. Excellent stuff. Right from there guys, let's go down for that side lunge. So all your weight onto one side. Really gonna stretch out and open up the groin. Okay, this time let's go to the floor. So stay in that lunge position, toes up, and you want to pull back on your toes. Get that stretch in your hamstring. Okay, let's switch sides. So start with that deep side lunge. Okay, from there down to the floor, put your toes up to the ceiling. Great stuff. Right, I want everybody now to sit in. So pretty much like a, a dumbbell squat we've just done. But your legs are out wide, knees are out wide. Tuck your elbows into the side of your knee and pull your knees outwards with your elbows. Try and go as far as you can. Lean back on the heels. Okay guys, it's really important that when we stand up, we come up nice and slowly. Awesome. Right, let's just do those arm circles once again. This time we go a bit slower. When we get to the top of the movement, we slow it down. So sideways on, it looks like this. So you get to the top, slowly go backwards. And again, get to the top, slowly go backwards. So do three more, one, up to the top and hold it. Two, and again at the top, three, and then we come backwards. So hold it at the top, one, do five, Two, hold it. Three, back up. Four, go right back to this last one, right back. Oh God, take the light with me. Five, well done guys. Right, a few shoulder rolls. So hands placed on top of your thighs. Roll your shoulders forward. Roll them. Right, then repeat, let's go the other way. Okay, we'll do a few neck rolls. So roll your neck all the way around in a circle one way, all the way around. So really take your time. And again, all the way around the circle. And come back, one more. So one more, one way, one more the other. That way, and then the other way. Oh, that's killer, that one. Oh, right, hand down the middle of your spine, push down the middle of the elbow. Middle of the elbow, top of the elbow, sorry. Okay, switch sides. Good stuff, right, let's have your hands locked out above your head. Lean your body weight over to one side. Great stuff, let's switch. Sweat my eyes, I think. Okay, from there, bring your arms forward. Stretch out as far forward as you can. Good, arms behind, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Okay, finish off on final stretch, get your arm across your chest, pull it in nice and tight. Good stuff, do the same on the other side. And that is your hum day Wednesday circuits done. Fantastic work guys, please, please keep 
sending in your uh, pictures and if you've got videos of you working out even better if somebody else is there or you can set your phone and let's see if you can send me a few videos of you guys working out that'd be fantastic please keep liking please keep sharing let your friends and family know uh, what we're doing in lockdown and they can all join in as well you guys are epic whether you're live or whether you're on catch up i love you all and i'll be back tomorrow for your body weight uh, not body weight your body blast uh, session at half past nine so make sure you've still got your weights because we'll need them again tomorrow have a great wednesday guys and i'll see you all tomorrow love you all cheers bye bye